So, now that the Mario movie is now officially out on Blu-ray, I think now seems as good a time as any to talk about this weird quirk in its music. That is, when the soundtrack, in particular for the movie, came out, folks quickly noticed how many unused tracks there were. And from that, it didn't take long for people to notice that the unused tracks fit perfectly in spots in the movie where the licensed music was playing. Scenes like the Donkey Kong Kingdom introduction, the training montage, and more all have licensed 80s music playing over them but there are wonderful composed tracks in the soundtrack that are literally perfectly composed for them. I don't know, it just kind of bums me out knowing how much effort and love the composer and performers put into bringing these unused tracks to life only to be replaced by an arbitrary take on me. But who knows, maybe this is just peak old man yells at cloud type business. What do you think?